Hi guys, in today's video we will learn how to decide the order of acidity or basicity. That is when we are given a set of compounds like CH3 minus, NH2 minus, OH minus etc. We should be able to decide which of these is the strongest acid or which of this is the strongest base. So we will see how do we do that. We will first take a look at the order of basicity and then with the help of that we will see how to decide the acidic order as well. The type of questions that we will be able to answer are whether CH3- minus is a stronger base or NH2- minus, or is it OH-? minus? Which base is stronger OH- minus or SH- minus, etc. So, we will be able to answer similar questions like this. Questions like this often come in various competitive examinations. So, this is very very important in order to understand organic chemistry well. So, let's see how we decide the order of acidity or basicity. Now, there is a very simple rule for this and it depends on a very few factors. And the first and the most important factor is the atom carrying the negative charge. Now here we are talking about the bases first and then we will talk about the acids later on. Let's see how we use this factor. If I take CH3 minus then the negative charge is on a carbon atom and on an NH2 minus group the negative charge is on a nitrogen atom. So this atom carrying the negative charge plays an important role in deciding the strength of the acid or base. Let's see how. Some of these atoms like to hold the negative charges. Some atoms like negative charges and some of these atoms hate it. So the rule is in a period that is from left to right negative charge becomes more stable. What that means is a nitrogen with a negative charge is more stable than a carbon with a negative charge. Why is that so? Because a nitrogen atom is to the right of a carbon atom in a period. So whenever you move from left to right in a period, negative charge becomes more stable. Now if charge is becoming stable, reactivity decreases, right? So as the charge becomes stable, the basic nature decreases. So species becomes less basic because it is less reactive. So let's see how we can use this factor in deciding the order of basicity. So we have four groups CH3 minus, OH minus, NH2 minus and F minus and we need to decide the order of basicity here. So the first thing that we will take a look at is the atom carrying the charges. Here the negative charge is on a carbon atom, OH minus has a negative charge on an oxygen NH2- minus has negative charge on nitrogen and F- minus has a negative charge on fluorine. Now from the rule, we know that in a period from left to right, so if I go from left to right in the second period, we will have carbon, then nitrogen, then oxygen, then fluorine. The negative charge becomes more stable, which means F- minus is more stable than an oxygen atom with a negative charge and it is more stable than a nitrogen atom with a negative charge and so on. So the order of stability will be F- minus is more stable than OH- minus, which is more stable than NH2- minus, which is more stable than CH3- minus. This is the order of stability. 
so what will be the order of basicity now a stable species is less reactive therefore the order of basicity will be opposite to this order that is ch3 minus is more basic than nh2 minus which is more basic than oh minus which is more basic than f minus this is the answer so that simple it is to decide the order of basicity if you know the atom on which the negative charge is present let's compare these species now all of these are halogen atoms with negative charges now the important thing to note here is that all these atoms carrying negative charges belong to a group not a period we have fluorine then chlorine then bromine and then iodine so the order in a group is that as you move down the group negative charge becomes more stable the reason for this is uh, each of these atoms has the same amount of negative charge but the size of fluorine atom is very small so the entire negative charge has to come on this small area whereas if you look at the iodine atom it has a much much larger size and therefore the negative charge has a large area to get distributed upon and therefore it becomes more stable so if you write the order of stability it will be i minus is more stable than br minus which is more stable than cl minus which is more stable than f minus this is the order of stability and since the order of basicity will be the reverse of this order so the order of basicity will be f minus is more basic than cl minus which is more basic than br minus which is more basic than i minus this is the basic order all right so let's take a look at this question which is the stronger base oh minus or sh minus now if you look at these two species the negative charge is present on the o atom and the s atom and these two belong to a group therefore as we go down the group the negative charge becomes more stable and so sh minus is going to be more stable than oh minus this is the order of stability and so the order of basicity will be the reverse of this order and oh minus will be more basic than sh minus okay so let's take a look at this question which is a stronger base nh2 minus or sh minus now the atoms carrying the charges are n and sulfur s now we know that nitrogen is to the left of oxygen and sulfur is below oxygen so we move one step to the right and then one step down and what we can say is that sulfur with a negative charge will be more stable than oxygen with a negative charge which will be more stable than nitrogen with a negative charge and let's fill the hydrogen atoms here so we will have sh minus oh minus and nh2 minus this is the stability order and so eliminating the middle factor because we do not need it we can say that nh2 minus will be more basic than sh minus so this is how you decide the order of basicity when the atoms carrying the negative charges are different but if there is a question like this ch3 minus and ch3 ch2 minus which is a stronger base 
now in both of these species the atom carrying the negative charge is a carbon atom so we cannot use the first factor that is the atom carrying a negative charge to decide the order of acidity or basicity so in the next video we will take a look at how we decide the order of acidity or basicity when the atoms are different see you in the next video